Part 1.3, Personal Development. All right, it's time to really dig into some amazing personal development and self-help topics for our mind to help improve our behaviors, which then go on to help us improve our outcomes, specifically in the areas of dating, finding someone to possibly enter a relationship with, fostering a loving bond, over-the-top lovemaking experiences, heavenly romance, and then some. Come on, let's dive in. Personal, self-care, and self-love come first, always, and forever. Here's why and how. That's right. Self-love and self-care come first, always and forever. Now, repeat after me. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. I'm going to be good to myself from now on. I'm all I have now and forever. So why not be good to myself? Fine. <laughs> you got it. I love myself. And that's all there is to it. I love myself. I'm going to be good to myself. Starting right now and from this day forward. That's some little uh, message there, huh? I love myself. Now, say that to yourself a thousand times a day for the next thousand days in a row. <laughs> I'm kidding, but not really. <laughs> for all of my life, I've always said positive things to myself and that I sincerely love myself, no matter what people think of me. In doing so, that mindset got me through some of the darkest times in my life, whether personally professionally, or where dating and relationships were concerned. If you think about it, loving yourself, being good to yourself, and then some, will always keep a smile on your face. That kind of energy is what the world needs, and your prospective lover of life and romance wants to see from you as well. What do you see when you miss someone, and you see them for the first time in a long time? You see them smile at you. When you give someone a gift that really makes them feel good inside, what do they do when they look at you? They smile. Smiles warm their entire body and easily draws them to you. How many smiles can you give to others in one day? Hundreds. How many times can you smile to yourself? Hundreds of times per day. You know, when it comes to getting into any kind of intimate relationship with someone, I would never want to enter that relationship without a tremendous amount of self-love, self-care, happiness, and smiling, glowing inside of me 24-7, 365. Because guess what? Until the one comes along, you've got to be happy every day to be in the right mood to see, catch, attract, talk to, and entertain any and all prospective dates and mates that you might want in your life. You can't do that if you're sad, depressed, anxious, desperate, or in a sour mood. So, self-love, self-adoration, and to a healthy extent, self-care, self-development, in every possible way, is the ultimate prerequisite to falling in love with someone, bringing a lot to the table to keep them in your life, and influencing them to fall in love with you, too. Makes sense, right? Well, let's dive right into this section, part 1.3, and devour everything you're about to be exposed to. Really, when you take it all in, keep what you like, what you think applies, there's no doubt you will become a changed person for the better and for life. Internally, externally, mentally, and well, let's get into it. Let's start off by talking about how to evaluate, cultivate, and enhance what I call the 10 Lees about life. How do you size yourself up mentally, intellectually, emotionally, physically, financially, spiritually, domestically, geographically? And then what about your availability? <laughs> I got a little T in there at the end, so... Anyhow, that's the upcoming audio section in this audio program on where are you and where art thou. Come on, let's check it out.